Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I will be doing a big poppy debut. We've already debuted two out of the three, two out of the three um, bosses, and here's the final one of the fifth inning bosses. So we had Mariano Rivera on the first video, along with Dylan Carlson, double debut. Then we did Larry Walker, and now we're doing David Ortiz. So they gave him a 2005 Silver Slugger card. Uh, and his attributes are absolutely amazing. He's got 103 contact versus right, 105 contact versus left, 124 power versus right, and 102 power versus left with 83 vision, so not bad vision at all. Inner PCI is gonna be pretty big. Uh, he has over 100 contact versus both. <clears throat> and then obviously he only has 55 fielding, he was DH, so of course, they're only going to give him common fielding and then 37 speed, which is a lot more than I thought they would give him. His poppy, we all know, was not very fast at all. Uh, but this card can be prestige, so when he does get there, obviously he's going to get that 125 pop versus righties and 105 versus lefties with then 106 contact versus right and 108 versus left with 86 vision. So a plus three across the board, he'll end up with 40 speed and 58 fielding, so he won't even get to a bronze. but. I mean, this guy can absolutely hit at worst. Uh, when more cards come out, like Lou Gehrig and Todd and a good Todd Helton and all that, Poppy's just definitely gonna be on your bench. I mean, you're gonna want him off versus righties with that 125 pop. So let's look at the lineup. We're gonna go cap, at cap, cap start, or cap leadoff catcher, Mickey in center, being second. Poppy's gonna hit in the three spot in this game. Uh, Chipper, Carlson, Larry, so Larry's moving from the three to the six for just for this game though. Uh, Zobi and then Ernie's in the eight spot. So that's what the lineup's gonna be. Um, we're gonna roll into this gameplay, but before we get there, uh, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you haven't hit it yet, turn those notifications on. We're on the way to 9K, so we're a little bit over 8.2K if you can help me get there. I'd highly appreciate it. Also, leave a like on the video, and if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below, all right, guys? And I'll answer them uh, as quickly as possible. But uh, without further ado, let's get to this gameplay. All right, today's debut video is going to be against I'm Charlie D'Amelio. He's got Dustin Man on the mound, so we get a right-handed pitcher for Poppy. He's got Biggio, Mantle, Gary, uh, Thames, Joel Ram. Uh, dang. I know he has Trout in the lineup as well. Sorry about that. I freaking lost track. I don't know why I do that, but I do. I I just gotta get better at it. I gotta get better at that. At reading off the lineup. Alright, so he's gonna start me off probably with a double off the wall. No! Carlson's there with the play. That's that diamond defense that we need in left field. Very good play right there. Very good swing by him, but unfortunately for him, that's gonna be an out. And that's also gonna be another out. So we got two pitches, two outs. All right, so we get out of the inning. Three lineouts to Dylan Carlson, and well, four pitches only. So we start off good right there. Good start. All right, we get a cutter up in the middle of the plate, and we're gonna send that on out of here with Mickey. And you know what we say: Hey, Mickey, you so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. All right, we got a 1-0 lead, and now Poppy's up. Let's get this, let's get this rolling. Back-to-back back right here. Come on. All right, Poppy's actually going to hit a perfect, perfect liner right at the right fielder. That was a fantastic swing, but unfortunately, we don't get it above the zone, but it's a ground ball at the first baseman. He hits it hard, but he probably got two on top of it. 
All right, that's a nice hit by him. Base hit up the middle. I mean, this the splitter was pretty. Uh, he stays back on it, but he gets on top of it. It's a little bit underneath the zone. Actually, he kind of was outside, so he rolled over it, honestly. That's a 5-4-3 to end the inning. And we get a change up in the middle of the plate, and Larry absolutely annihilates that baseball. That's going to be a 2-0 lead now. Oops, fucking sorry, baby. He throws us a sinker right down the middle. We are not late on that one, folks. That's going to be back to back. And now we got a 3-0 lead. Oops, fucking sorry. Let's go. We're hitting. All right, so he gets a base hit on a 1-0 fastball low and in to, with Chipper to lead off the inning. So he's got a good start to the inning now. Hopefully we get this double play right here. His cap is coming up. And he rolls it to the first baseman. Poppy's there. That's going to be a 3-6-1 double play. All right. He throws a curveball on 0-2 right down the middle. And we spank it into the gap for a double. That's going to be a leadoff double for, the, for my cap. And now Mickey's going to come up with a runner on second. No outs. And we get a fast or a sinker right down the middle, 2-0, and we hit it. Perfect, perfect fly ball for Mickey's second tank of the game. Oops, fucking sorry. You know what we say. Hey, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Or we'll go up the middle with Poppy with a base hit. So he's one for two right now. That actually wasn't the best of swings. PCI wasn't on it. Luckily, we get it up the middle. Uh, it just rolls that way sometimes. All right, we're gonna get a sinker in the low. We're gonna get a sinker low and middle in the plate. Unfortunately, I get a little bit on top of it. I have good timing, but it's gonna be a ground ball right at the second baseman for a double play. All right, so now he has the top of the order coming up. So Craig's back up now for him. We're gonna try this cutter low and away. He gets under it on first pitch swinging again. That's gonna be a easy pop up to the catcher, one out. And. Cutter in the middle of the plate. He probably gets a little bit under it. That's going to be a routine fly out to center. Uh, two outs in the inning. Oh, fuck. But of How course, as I say that, I throw a slurve right down the How middle. He absolutely annihilates it with Gary. That's going to be 5 1. Uh, try the fastball low and in. He might pull it, honestly, but we got to try it sometimes. He's late on it, actually, and he's going to get a base hit, though. That's unfortunate because. I thought he would have pulled it on 2-1, and he actually gets the late hit, so. And again, we hit another perfect, perfect liner for a line out that's to this game. Very good hit. That's actually a phenomenal hit. He goes oppo with that cutter. Gotta tip my cap. That was just a, that's really good hitting right there, honestly. Dylan, get there. Stop jogging to the baseball. Sinker down the middle, he's late on it though. Um, so we get a fly out to left. Oh, let's go. I threw home by mistake. I could have had the out at third. Zobi makes the play though, very good play right there. And he's going to stick with Dustin May. we got to get out of this inning with no runs allowed. I think we are. Ernie, what are you doing? Like, they need to stop jogging to me. That's going to be another sinker down the middle. This time it's going to be off the top of the wall to lead off the inning again. Uh, my cap goes with another double again. So Mickey's back up with a runner on second. Sinker middle way. We are on it. Or Timing-wise, we're on it. Um, just off of it with the PCI. It was a little bit off the zone, so that's going to be easy out. Now we got debut guy. Let's get an RBI right here with debut guy. Oh my goodness gracious. How is that not gone? I'm all over that. And that's why we give him the green light because he's going to throw a sinker right down the middle. And that's not going to, that's not going to score me because, well, and we get a hold of that baseball. That's going to be a three-run tank for Dylan Carlson. Oops, fucking sorry. Let's go, baby. 
Nice two out hitting right there with back to back hits. Let's go, Larry. Keep it going. Well, we put up three more runs, so now it's eight to one. So a good seven run lead right now. Oh, Never mind. It's going to be a six run this. lead. That's an absolute tater. I can't believe perfect, perfect this. fly ball. All right. Seems like he's gotten a hold of that cutter low and away. Or away to a righty, apparently. That's two back to back that he does that. That's also going to be a tank because I just want to throw down the middle and the lead is just diminished. Just like that. Hopefully I can get out of this inning with no more runs allowed. Alright, that's a good start to get out of this inning with no more runs allowed. <clears throat> Easy ground out to the second baseman. And uh, now he's got Thames coming up. Actually, we're going to go to Wagner. He's got Thames and then Joe Ram, which is way worse against lefties. I know Thames has more power versus lefties and more contact, but you still got to hit lefty on lefty to prove to me something. And I throw a slider down the middle. Apparently, I just want to throw everything down the middle this inning. Luckily, he gets under and he's late, so that's going to be a root, uh, easy pop-up to the first baseman. We give up two. So we still we got a five run lead instead of a seven, but again, fastball low in the middle of the zone. I hit it with good timing, and that's gonna get on out of here. Sneaks over the glove of Mickey Mantle, and it is nine three, and that's gonna be a double play. I should have sent the runner. That would have been a base hit up the middle. I try to fastball up and in right here on a one two. See if we can blow it by him. Or we'll throw it down the middle again, and luckily he misses it again, and that's going to be a routine fly out to left to start the inning. All right, fastball in on the hands. He's a little late on it, probably a little under as well. Easy fly out to center. That's going to be two outs in the inning. We're going to try to get out of it. No runs allowed. Uh, he's got Yelich coming up, and we know that Yelich likes to do dirty things. Luckily, I miss again with my pitch, and luckily he misses again, so that's going to be a routine fly out to right. We get out the inning, no more runs allowed, and uh, it's 9-3. That's a cutter in the middle of the zone. That's going to get over Mickey's head, and it's actually going to get on over the wall just barely. Chipper hits a tank to lead off the inning. Oh my goodness, I just missed one with Dylan. That should have been his second tank of the game. He throws a cutter down the middle, and I'm pretty much on it. That's going to be a nice, that's going to be a fly out to center. I don't get it, man. Is that going to get, the, oh, it hits the bag down the line. That's going to be a base hit for Zobris. That's a terrible hit. All right, that perfect, perfect actually gets down. I thought it was going to be another perfect, perfect out, but that one gets down. Base hit. All right, we're not going to be able to hit a bomb, but we are going to get a base hit up the middle, and that's going to score another one. So 11-3 lead. Our cap's coming up with runners on first and second with the winning run on first. Oh, Poppy over there making plays, baby. Let's go. Look at Poppy. I mean, he's only one for four, but a uh, couple bad luck swings. But uh, he's over there playing some defense, baby. Let's go. Cutter in on the hands. He probably could have hit that out. That was not in completely. I thought it was over the plate. I thought it was going to be gone as soon as I threw it. Let's look at it. All right, fast two-seamer gets him late on it. Easy fly out to right, and that's going to be... Man, I'm just missing. All right, Poppy's coming up now. That's also a dot. Man, he just died in my life away. That's going to be a base hit for Poppy on that. He gets his second hit of the game on that, even though he had a perfect, perfect lineup for now and two good. All right, that's just a bad swing on my, on my end. All right, strike three. Good start to the inning. All right, change of blown away. He's late on it and pops it up to the third baseman. That's going to be easy out. Oh, fuck. I can't okay. believe this. Oh, fuck. I can't so believe he doesn't go this. down. One, two, three. Actually, it's a bomb with Trout. 
And uh, it's gonna be 11-4 now. We need to give up another bomb right here. If he hits a bomb off accuracy, so be it. And he does it. That's gonna be an easy pop up to the shortstop. And as long as Ernie catches it, yes, we end the ball game with an 11-4 victory. Poppy goes two for five, an unconventional two for five with that last hit that he had. Uh, he did start off the game, or his first at bat with a perfect, perfect liner for an out. And then he had a good, good, or good okay that came off the bat week for whatever reason we were on. And then the curveball that I hit a line drive up the middle, that should have been a base hit, but since I was stealing, his shortstop was right there and he caught it. Um, so, but nonetheless, he does go two for five, so a pretty good start to his, uh, to his Diamond Dynasty career in MLB to the show 20. Um, his swing is really nice, really smooth, quick, and if you just feel like you can get to everything with it. I'm gonna keep using him over Thames for right now, uh, but I do love his swing. But anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the video and the review on him. Uh, hope you guys, uh, hope this can help you, or hope these three videos that I put out helps you decide on who you wanna go with uh, whether it's Mo, Larry, and Poppy, they're all really good. So you won't be picking wrong. So in my opinion, it's based, you should pick off, you should pick based off of what you need the most. Um, they're all gonna be really good. And um, so you're not gonna go wrong. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the video. Uh, as always, make sure you hit you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We're on the road to 9K. Please help me get there. Leave a like on the video, and if you got any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. All right, guys, until the next video. Peace.